I'm McGinnis, and I am a native of Richmond County. My family's been here since the 1700s. I own a piece of land that they obtained and paid for in shillings and pence because there was no America when they came here. I'm a business owner and a job creator. I'm a member of the Richmond County uh, Public School Education Board, our Board of Education, and I have been since 06. Uh, we've made uh, great, great things happen in our public schools, and it's all because of bold and decisive leadership. Uh, we must, in this day and time, bring bold and decisive <coughs> leadership. Ladies and gentlemen, insanity, as Albert Einstein said, is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results. We have sent the same folks to Raleigh for a long time. We've expected different results. We don't have those. I'm going to be honest with you as I can tonight. I've looked at the, at the math. I've looked at our stats. We've got 30 percent according to the Richmond County Literacy Council, of folks that are illiterate in this county. We've got almost 25% of folks that are living at or below the poverty level. We've got an exorbitantly high unemployment rate compared to our neighbors. We've got a high tax rate for our property uh, compared to our neighbors. And folks, we've got to have different leadership. Nothing wrong with the, with the past. We can talk about the past, but the future is what we've got to talk about. Our schools are the paramount provider of prosperity uh, for everyone in this county. Our community college, uh, one of the best in North Carolina with great things happening there. But folks, the folks in Raleigh have forgotten us. There are eight, 85 rural counties in North Carolina, and we've been forgotten. We've been walked, and, walked on and, and thrown away. Everything you see, they spent $100 million to bring Metropolitan Life, 2,600 jobs, 1,300 to Cary, and 1,300 to Ballantyne, the two highest income zip codes in North Carolina. Did anybody within the sound of my voice get any, any part of that? No, we didn't. Small business has got to be turned loose in this county. We've got to get small business throughout North Carolina, get the monkey off of their back to where they can make things happen. We've got to turn loose the schools. We've got to make it happen in the schools. We've got to get control for the local, the local school boards of the things that are going on. We've got to let the teachers teach. We've got to get these crazy tests that they add on all the time, more and more tests. We've got to do away with some of this testing because the teachers cannot teach without that. Folks, it, it's not going to happen overnight, but it's got to happen with a change. Uh, my opponent's a fine man. I've known him a long, long time. We have different philosophies. And our philosophy is that uh, small business, our schools, our education system, our senior citizens need to be looked after. We've got to look at the big picture. We've got to look long distance and long down the road. We can't do the same thing over and over again and expect results. Folks, there's an opportunity in this election. Uh, we have never sent a Republican from this area to the Senate in North Carolina in the history, long over 100 years. There's an opportunity here that we can take that opportunity. I challenge you to look at both of us, look at our philosophies, look at what we think about, what we talk about, what we do, and, and make your determination. And uh, I humbly ask for your vote, your support, your prayers, and uh, look forward to this thing being over so we can all go back to work. <laughs>